Hey guys, this is the first clip in uh, JK's Medico decoder pick public video. Well, this is the tool. You can see it consists of two parts. I've got it up close so you can see the details and also because of the next portion it's going to be up close so I can't adjust the focus on this camera mid video. You can see the end bit is notched out. That's to accommodate tension tools and also the M3 slider bypass tool. <coughs> but uh, these end bits here that are raised up, they don't serve any function other than calibration of this end bit right here. And also to support the tube so it doesn't collapse as easily. Which is not it's not fragile by any means, but every little bit of strength helps and it doesn't really add any, you know, complications, cost or anything to the tool. We have this slot right here so we can see into it. So we can see that little mark on this other tool that goes inside of here. But the main part of this is the scale. I call this whole part of the scale tube. This is the scale. It's marked out exactly, well, as close to exactly as I could get it, with the spacing of uh, the teeth on Medico sidebars. <coughs> you see, what this tool does is you use this wire right here and you hook into the sidebar groove of the key pins and with that you can control rotation just moving them back and forth now there are pins that have the grooves closed off at the bottoms I find they're, I just think they're really rare but the more I've been using this tool they seem to be becoming more common uh, I, it seems like the older Medicos, the original non-biaxial, in other words, not the M3, the older ones, they seem to be more employing the closed groove pins, which this tool cannot defeat. I'm working on another tool that can, and uh, hopefully it can uh, come to fruition and uh, I can release that. But what you do is you hook it into the sidebar groove, and you can control rotation, and because at the end of the, at the end of the pick, at the end of when the key opens the lock all of these little uh, all these little sidebar groups you can see them at the top of the pins right now the top up here as opposed to down here from the viewing angle you can see almost all of them right now are aligned except that one on the far right right well we're gonna cheat real quick and move that into alignment okay now see they're all lined up kinda got a bad angle but now the sidebar can depress in because there's the teeth in the sidebar which are evenly spaced can drop into those grooves. So, we know those pins and the grooves where they need to, where they need to be at the end of the day. We know that they're evenly spaced. We know the spacing. It's I think it's 0.17 inches between each one of these pin centers. So, why can't we just use that information to, you know, open any Medico sidebar? Well, the answer is we can. Uh, we need a common reference point, something that's not going to change between locks that you can use to make your measurements off of. I like the front of the plug, the plug face. It's convenient, it's right there, you're not going to, you know, miss it. So, by butting the tool against the front of the plug face, hooking into the, the uh, sidebar grooves, and comparing their positions with the pre-measured positions, these aren't pre-measured from this lock, these are just pre-measured from Medico, Medico specs, really and then moving the pins to correct them, to move them into alignment, you can pick the sidebar. So I'm gonna just demonstrate that real quick. I'm kind of uh, looking through the camera right now. And also it's much easier to uh, grab these grooves when this plug is actually in the lock because the pins don't want to lift up out. Okay, you can see I've grabbed that front one there. I'm controlling it from the, uh, to the top from this angle. But uh, See how it's not at alignment right now? Well, we butt the front up against. See what that looks like on the scale. Alright, you see how it's forward of that mark right there? It also shows you what pin you're on, which is really helpful when you're manipulating these if you know that you're hooked into a pin for sure. You see it's a little bit forward and we can control. It's, it's not meant to be uh, used like this permanently. You, what you do is kind of check where it is like that. And now you know you need to pull the pin back. So what I do is retract the scale tube. So now I've got more freedom with the tool itself, the groove grabbing portion, and then wiggle. Normally this would be under tension, but you'd wiggle the tension kind of off, just light, just uh, wiggle back and forth like that while you're slowly laying off tension until it clicks into that, into place right there. 
the, you can kind of simulate tension by pressing on this on the sidebar with your finger. And uh, let's see. Oh, and there it goes. So pull back all the way. That's as far as it can rotate, which is really nice. You don't have to like guess at how far. And you can see it's lined up more or less with the line. If you had to push it forward, it would start out back here behind that mark. So that one needs to be pulled back, which means, I forget if that means the left or a right pin, but it's indicative of one of those. So all you do basically is you go down the line, start at number one, and there's actually a binding order, which I think is pretty entertaining. It's almost like picking to shoot. There's a binding order, which he's locked, it doesn't change. Well, for the most part, it doesn't change. So you could, what you do is when you hook in, you'll feel it, it'll, 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 it'll wiggle, kind of shake. If it's loose, if it's not its turn yet, which in which case you just kind of ignore it, you go to the next one. But eventually you'll find one that feels kind of stiff. I mean, it'll feel really stiff because the sidebar's tooth is pressing into the side of the pin. Even if it's, if, if, it, if, it's, if it's falsely set, the exact same thing happens. If it's caught in that false groove, the exact same thing will happen. So the false grooves don't affect this at all even because you can tell the fakes it doesn't line up the lines don't line up on the scale so all you do is feel for the one that feels like it's binding literally and I mean if you don't know just try every single one and just adjust them all eventually I mean you can just look at it and you know boom 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 and you can be sure that the sidebar is done for sure and if the lock still isn't open it probably means that we, you have a really deep spool or a deep mushroom in, this, in Medico's case a false set in the shear line but it's a way of verifying that the, that the sidebar is definitely picked to shear but uh, that's basically how picking works uh, I'm going to do a little demonstration in the next clip uh, just to show you know how it would look from the outside but, uh, there it is and uh,